Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can work out the retention factor from a chromatogram. If we start off with the definition then, the retention factor is a measure of how soluble an ink is and it has the shorthand of RF. So to work out the retention factor, you need to work out the distance the ink has moved from your pencil line and the distance your solvent has moved and then divide them, ink divided by solvent. Your solvent usually is water. So for example, I've got this chromatogram here and my question is calculate the retention factor for the most soluble ink. Now I've already put that on here, your most soluble one is your green ink. So what you have to do is find the distance the ink has moved, again I've drawn it on, 6 centimetres, and then find out how far the solvent, your water has moved, which is 7 centimetres. So you divide 6 by 7, and that gives you your answer, which is 0.86 to 2 decimal places. Now the key thing here is it's always between 0 and 1. So if you get an answer that's above 1, you've done it wrong, you've divided it the wrong way around, so change it. If I have a look at a real life example, this is a chromatogram that I've produced in my lab. You can see here that my ink has moved four centimeters up the paper from my line and my water, which I've drawn in in pencil, that has moved 9.4 centimeters. So I've got my solvent line of 9.4, my ink line of four centimeters. How do you work out the retention factor? You take the distance the ink has moved and divide it by the distance the solvent has moved. So four divided by 9.4 and that comes out to 0.43. Again, always between 0 and 1. Okay, let's have some practice at this question then. So I've got two for you. Have a look at the chromatogram on the right. Number one, calculate the retention factor for the blue ink. So that's from ink A. And then number two, calculate the retention factor for the red ink from ink B. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through and see how you've done. So if we start off with the blue ink, nice and simply, we find out the distance the ink has moved, which is 4, and the distance that the solvent, the water, has moved, which is 7. So our first mark is for putting 4 divided by 7, and our second mark is for finding out the answer, which is 0.57. So if you got 0.57, normally you'd get 2 out of 2 there. And then second question, calculate the retention factor for the red ink. So we go across, again, it's always a good idea to use a ruler in the exam to get it exactly right. We've got two, so two centimetres. Again, the water's moved seven because it's the same chromatogram. So it's two divided by seven, which comes out to 0.29, rounded to two decimal places. That really is everything you need to know on retention factor. I have got a review question for you, which says look at the chromatogram on the right. Calculate the retention factor for the most soluble ink. So decide out of these two, which is the most soluble ink, and then work out the retention factor. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.